Yo, whatever's going on is big. Oh my gosh. Tell me that's not freaky. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know if he threw that out or not. It was something like metal I'm pretty sure he threw out, dude. Yo, what's up everybody? My name's CJ Faison. First and foremost, welcome to my channel. Second of all, welcome to another Random Nautica video. You know that I'm down here in Florida. It's a little bit chilly tonight. It's like almost like 51, 52 degrees. Not my Florida weather that I was thinking I was gonna have, but hey, long story short, I'm here. I'm glad to at least be here. I was in shorts earlier today. So, Rando Nautica again tonight. You know I've been here for about a week and a half now, so I'm basically staying a half of a month in Florida. Really loving this weather. I got my cameraman Dylan here with me. Most of you know we traveled with Jazz and Chris down here all together. They have rented a car. They are on their own again tonight doing their own Rando Nautica adventure. So go jump over and support Jazz's channel as well. Now, tonight is all about me and you and Dylan going out and playing the Rando Nautica app. We did have a very scary incident where police were called the last time that we did play and it was extremely odd. If you haven't watched that video, jump over to that one and it's probably the last uh, the video right before this one was uploaded. So do me a big favor, jump over there, support that video as well. I know you all are really digging the Random Nautica videos. That's why I keep on doing these. So without any further ado, I say we jump right on into this. But as most of you know, I got to throw a theory out there. I throw a theory out there about Random Nautica before every single video. And I like to know your all theories. So also comment below your theory in one comment um, and, and tell me your theory about Random Nautica. So I've said this before, but I'm kind of tweaking the theory because I read this today on the internet and it made so much sense. Maybe the Random Nautica app is a social experiment, right? I said that in a video before, but there might be a little bit of a twist to it. You know, they always try to see how far can we push people to go? Are they gonna go to that location? Are they gonna listen to the directions? How well do we listen to directions? How open-minded are we when we get there to figure out what our intent was and line it up with something? So many different options. Kind of incredible, yet scary to even think about this being a social experiment, but I do kind of lean towards this. I think that, you know, um, I think this could be a social experiment and seeing, okay, maybe, we, that maybe there are set up locations. How wide are people's eyes? You know, how, how wide open do we keep our eyes when we go to certain places? How aware are we of all of our surroundings? And that to me is probably one of the scariest yet most creepy and uh, kind of exhilarating parts of all of Rain Nautica. Again, just a theory, not saying that's exactly what it is, but without any further ado, let's get going. So you all know that I own the brand Motivated Apparel Company and that is the threads that I'm wearing right here. You can get the exact same ones by going to shopmotivated.com right now. Use my promo code FLORIDA for 20% off your entire purchase right now. You can get hoodies, t-shirts, hats, tank tops. Ladies, we have a whole new collection for you. Gentlemen, we have a whole new collection for you as well. Really cool threads. I promise you will not be disappointed. Fast shipping worldwide. And don't forget, I sign and autograph every single order and give you a picture of me signed and autographed as well. So love you all so much. Let's jump right into this video. I'm pumped up about tonight's video, mainly because we are in a completely different area. Like, whew, end of spectrum, like more in like the countryside um, because the city side that we were in last night, oh my gosh, it was every time it was private property after private property. And we went inside of Target looking, I guess it was stupid. Like, was, you know, we had to film with our cell phone because obviously we bring this big camera thing in there and they're not gonna really like let us in, but you know, it was it was bad. So I'm gonna start out tonight with an absolute bang and it's gonna be strange surroundings, okay? Strange Surroundings is what I'm going to pick as the intent. Shout out to whoever gave that to me on Twitter. Um, yeah, Strange Surroundings. It's actually kind of, I don't really think it's morbid. There's some morbid intents that I do have in here tonight, but this might be a little sketchy. Who knows? Great. Let's see where it brings us. Goodness gracious. Oh gosh, damn it. 13.4 miles away. We're driving this far, it better be oh my strange. Gosh. It's better be the most strange place I've ever been in my life. And it's like another hotel or it's like a private property. Oh hotel. gosh, damn it. So I jinxed us last night, obviously, because I said in the video, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like keeping us nice and nice and close this time. And this time it's 13.7 miles away. It's a 21 minute drive. Good grief, we could listen to a, mu uh, um, a whole entire video in the background. <laughs> Gosh, y'all, this is what we go through. Passenger seat belt. Lady, I'm putting it on. Did you not see me grab? Okay, bitch, now, you, now you're hanging it up on purpose. I'm serious. I think she does that. I'm not even kidding. I think she holds it back there. She's like, ah, bitch, gotcha. 
She makes me mad. I gotta come up with a name for her. Hey, that's right. I need everybody to comment down right now. What do I name the lady that yells at me for my seatbelt every time I get in this car? I think she's Linda. Mm, I'm thinking like a Debbie. You good? Yeah, Debbie Downer. Huh? Just sounds like a Debbie. That makes sense. Please fashion driver's seatbelt. I was getting to it. If you would pay attention, you ought to solve that I was reaching for the seatbelt. See, I'd rather listen to Watch the Tram Car, please, than listen to that every day of the week. Man, I'm over her. Her and I get in fights every single day. Every day. Okay, well, look what we have here. Road closed to through traffic, and we're literally gonna go right around it. <laughs> because Rando Nautica said so. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you right now. This, this is how we die. Oh my goodness, dude, look at this shit. Like I know there might be like, yeah, there's houses back here. What are these what are these signs say? I don't understand. Probably go through traffic again. But on the no, opposite direction. Oh no, great. It, here's my question though. Your logic, we're gonna go past it. Straight and get told me to. If everybody told you to jump off a bridge, would you do that? I mean if it looked fun, maybe. If I think I could live through it, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> I'm serious, like this is sketchy as shit. Look, we have six point six miles until we get there. Every one of these roads that goes off to like the left or the right says dead end on them. That's a little sketch. Okay, we had to back up because I literally passed this sign going like 80. It says a road closed in 500 feet, so. I about threw Dylan through the front windshield. I think I had a seatbelt on. Like, where the, why, where's the road closed at, though? Oh, right there. Oh, boy. Okay. Well. What the f Are you getting that, Dylan? Yeah. See the flash on lights, we're trying to zoom in now. Oh my gosh. What's hiding down there? I, I don't know, I mean obviously something's going on. What the hell? I mean, we were literally 0.3 miles from, oh gosh, that was it. Holy f shit, bro. Oh, my body is like aching and chills right now. What the f was that then? You did get that on camera. There was a yeah. cop car yeah. sitting sideways. Yeah. Holy shit, bro. That's nuts. Holy shit. I wonder what that was. So, strange surroundings. And we get to a place where it's like, road closed, 500 feet. Boom, cop car sideways. I oh, damn. I, I kind of wish that we could like go up there and like, yo, what's going on? but I don't feel like that's really the thing that we need to be doing right now. No. And it was just one cop car. Oh man, dude, 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 dude. I got rolling one today, I'm getting hot. What the f Okay. You ever seen one of those, this is like a scary movie, right? Driving down the road, roads closed signs. The friends go around it, they go down about five, six miles, and they get to the point where the officer is sitting, and it's like, you know, one of the bad police officers, and then like, bam, something happens to him. That's Yeah, let's not do that. This has gotta be up here. Yeah, this is it right here, dude. 
This is it, yeah. Where the hell my light go? Oh, there it is. Okay, just as I figured, a bunch of trash. All right, so <clears throat> we weren't really sure what this would do, but all we did was um, use the same intent. Random Nautica brought us about 500 feet back that way. This motorcycle has come out of nowhere and I thought it was like a like a light on the end of like someone's mailbox at first, but then all of a sudden I realized like that's not the case. All I'm doing, oh this guy's coming up quick, bro. Oh my gosh. Are you seeing him? Yeah, you just disappeared as around this van. Oh yeah, but we're turning left right now anyway. When we start getting back straight, you should be able to see him again. Do you see him now? Let me know when you see him. There he is again. Okay. What the hell, dude? That was very odd. What the hell's this guy's deal? I mean, you're on a closed road. There's barely like any houses back there. Okay, he's following. He is definitely following. Uh-oh. All right, dude, just go by. No, nah, he's just riding. Okay, I just wanted to document that just in case something weird happened. The guy tried to bash my windows in or something crazy. We're gonna go up here, gonna uh, get another intent and another location. So my next intent is hidden crime. Hidden crime. I don't know, <laughs> Dylan's looking at me again. He's like, dude, you're crazy as hell. Why are you doing this? I'm doing this because uh, I like to push the limits, okay? So, let's go ahead, Randonautica, hidden crime. You're so dumb. This actually might have been a very dumb intent yeah. to choose. Yeah, very much so. Shit. Hey, 1.4 miles from here, I can get with this, okay? That 16 mile journey stuff, that was like, it literally took us in the middle of nowhere. We're at a truck stop right now, getting our next intent and location. And all I'm thinking to myself the entire time we're driving out there, I went past that road close sign. I'm like, yep, this might be one of the dumber things I've done. It was. And uh, now we got 1.3 miles. So I was actually saying in the beginning of the video that this might be a social experiment, you know, and they're conducting research on, you know, how far will people go? Um, how, how open is their mind? Like how, how good are they about knowing what's surrounding them and stuff? Uh, to me, it's a little scary to think about, but um, again, I want to know your all's opinions. What do you think? What do you think this Randonautica app is all about? What's the end goal? What's the purpose behind this app? Okay, so I had to, for just a second, reroute. I'm trying to go down this road here, and there are nothing but a bunch of police officers everywhere. Yeah, hold it down lower. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was weird as shit. Why does this happen? Like, uh, that's, what, that's why I'm starting to like, starting to think, okay, this kind of lines up with that whole mantra of maybe it's connected with police scanners and stuff. Okay, there's a twisted tea can. It's a good weapon apparently. And uh, we're still about 700 feet from where we're supposed to be. And it's supposed to, it's like it's like dead in the middle of the road in between these two roads right here. It looks like we're now coming up on another little town. All right, it says we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. I guess we should just get out. Yes. Let me pull over here.
All right, let's get out and let's see what Randonautica has brought us. Dylan, you ever peed on a fire hydrant? No. There's one right there. I Look. Right, there is. Hey, man. No opportunity like the present. All right, Dylan, what was our intent? Our intent here, unsolved mystery, right? No. Un unsolved crime. Unsolved crime, there you go. I can barely hidden remember. crime, hidden crime, but the same thing. I can't remember I did two minutes ago, a little while with that. Yeah. Hidden crime. Damn, this app takes us some random places, dude. What the f are the odds? They're gonna stay soon. Bro, they are really close. Where are that where's that at? Are they about to come around this corner? And just like that, they're gone? And there they are again. Hey, I found a hot sauce packet, look at that. Oh, man. man, Dylan, I'll give you $100 if you squeeze that in your mouth. Yeah, there's something big going on. Okay, there's a bag of chips. Something serious. What are the odds of this? What is happening? Jesus, Dylan, look at that. Oh my gosh, how the f did we miss this? That's a lunchbox. I'm going. I'm going to grandma's. That's a lunchbox, dude. Oh my gosh. What? Tell me that's not freaky. Is there anything else around your houses having to do with hidden crime? kind of weird me out like at first I'm like trying to make a joke about it you know what I mean and then the sirens and then this this wasn't really anywhere near the radius so you know what I mean yeah, I, I don't think that had anything to do I think somebody just threw that thing out it could it could be part of of this but I, I don't I don't see it dude not hidden crime no. I'm going to grandma's and a pair of shoes Okay, leave you right there, just in case somebody threw you out, and uh, was maybe coming back to get it. I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not seeing it with this one at all. Hidden crime. The, now the sirens is weird. Yeah. You know, you gotta admit, like that. That to me is almost as creepy as finding something, as hearing something, and not knowing exactly what's going on. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's get back in. So the next intent is something unknown, and I've wanted to try this, but I wasn't really sure. I mean, this could literally be anything. Uh, it is kind of broad. But um, let's go ahead, let's put this in Rando Nautica. Let's see where you bring us to next. All right, it's uh, 0.7 miles away. So this is uh, not far at all. All right, go out here, turn on Ponder Boulevard. Okay, gonna go up here and make a right. And um, actually it's like, past the Starbucks and everything. Huh. We got to turn right at a stoplight. Isn't it interesting, Dylan, how this thing like just sometimes takes you to uh, some of the weirdest, craziest places? Yeah. I, I don't know what to expect anymore whenever we play this app. What the f Okay. Oh my I don't God. give a damn what you say. No, dude, this app literally brings you, it literally, it, dude, oh my gosh, what oh. I'm gonna keep the camera down song. Yeah. What the hell, oh my gosh, they got like bomb squad dog out there, see it, see it, see it? Yeah, yeah, what is happening? Oh my gosh, dude. You will not be able to convince me otherwise that this app does not. Oh, that's twice in a row. Twice in a row. That's no coincidence. That literally tells me that the app is working together with like law enforcement. I don't know. This is, this is knocking futz is what this is, dude. So I'm trying not to cuss as much, but this freaks me the hell out now. Because how, how do you explain any of this? Look at this, bro. Yo, whatever's going on is big. I mean, really big. Like, that's our location. Something unknown. Like, I get it. Like, what's going on is technically unknown. I get that, but damn, that's weird, man. That is very, very, very weird. Oh gosh, I'm gonna run stop sign right in front of all the police officers. That'd be great, huh? Yeah. What is going on? Okay, so it's in Dick's Sporting Goods. Whatever it is. They've got this thing perimetered off like as if there's like uh I don't know, like as if I'm I'm guessing there might be a uh I mean if you've got the dog sniffing, I mean that that should pretty much tell you right there kind of what's going on. Either they're looking for somebody or they're looking for a particular item. All right, looks like somebody broke in, I think. My gosh, Dylan. How is this possible, dude? What is going on? I, I really, I don't, I don't know. Like, this is what really freaks me out about the whole app. Like, this has got to be, I mean, got to be, in somehow connection with like a dispatch center. Like, hey, there's a lot of attractors going on in this one area. Let's, let's send them to this location. And you know, that might have been the sirens that we were hearing earlier was them coming here. Maybe. Oh, there's another one down here. What? Since all of this craziness is going around right now and, and just things are like really popping off, my next intent is going to be something we should not see. Okay, and 0 0.7 miles from here. That's weird. That was the same mileage as last time too. Wasn't it? Or was it 0.08? I think it was .08. Okay, um, 0 0.7 miles from here, two minute drive is gonna be something we should not see. Now, I don't know how true that's gonna be, but. Okay, looks like we are 300 feet, 200 and 
fifty. All right. It's like right here at this like roadblock. See that roadblock thing right there? Yeah. All right, we're gonna turn the car off since we're not far from that other um, ongoing crime scene. I think it's best if we literally take the keys, lock the door. Oh boy. Why is there so much traffic all of a sudden? No idea. The hell did that guy just throw out? I, that's, I, I literally went like this right here because I thought like I had moved this right here, but he threw something out. Is that him driving? That's him driving over there, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I don't know if he threw that out or not. It was something like metal. I'm pretty sure he threw out, dude. What the f That is a picture of somebody and like they tried to scrape their eye out. Actually, I think that might be white out. The f was that? They threw something metal. It was like when it, 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 it clanged when it hit the ground. Oh, now that's a dirty towel. Oh, oh my gosh, somebody actually threw out a voice recorder. Oh, it broke. The f is this? Yo, there's some sketchy shit going on around here. Oh, golly, dang, that thing's all oh, jammed up. Man. Oh my gosh, look at the bottom of this thing. Gross. Why would they have thrown this out? I have no idea. It doesn't even work. Oh, it does work. How do you hit, what's, how do you do it? Oh wait, hey, hey um, play, what's this do? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. What the f just happened? <sighs> Weak right now. What, Dylan, what the f did we just hear? Whatever the f that was was not f right. No. You're gonna really listen to more. Oh, you hit it twice. Was that was screaming? Was it? Uh, I'm pretty sure.
playing this now. I really am. That's the second time in three days that we're going to have to call the police. I feel like I'm going to get sick. That's someone's daughter, could be someone's sister, someone's... <sighs> oh. I hate this app. And who the was that? Please tell me you at least got the fucking license plate, bro. Literally, the police are. I feel like an idiot for throwing my hat. I really didn't mean to have like a temper tantrum there, but I'm I'm done, dude. I'm done with this app. Like, what kind of car was that? Usually, I call cars out, and I cannot remember what kind of car that was. There was two of them. It was an SUV, and then there was a car. To me, it sounded like the car is what threw that out. fingerprints are all over this. I did not even think about that. Stay here with that so I don't lose sight of where it is. Let me go grab a napkin. Dylan, can you stop recording? Yeah. As I'm walking back across the road, I guess the way that I grabbed this, I hit a button, whatever button that was, and it started playing this now. Like this is not, that's obviously not somebody speaking into this. That's like a recording. Yeah. And like that's, to me, that sounds like it's like, uh, what the f I have no idea what kind of car that was. He stopped. Is he going now? Yeah, he's going now. Okay. Uh, to me, how do you do this?
There's like 20. Is this like a sick joke or something? Like, I don't, I don't know. Two cars go by, one of them throws this out. Um, slightly. The, like the other voices on this don't make sense to me. No. It's clearly like they put it into a computer program and like there's like too much echo and like reverb and stuff. Yeah. And the ones like, I don't even know. Could it possibly be real? That like the scream to me sound, I, I don't know actually, I don't know if that was actually real or not. I have no idea. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like how do you know that they didn't just like take audio clips or something and skew it or I don't I don't know but like the little girl voice like singing that is not that's not somebody's not actually recording into this no. I feel somewhat better but I still feel like the first clip kind of got me like I, super worried I don't even know what that first clip like it, it just sounds way too real Like, it literally sounds like she's panicking and trying to make as much noise as she can. And they're, like, breaking through. I, I mean, it's like a, was it, do you, I don't know. Like, it, that does, is that, like, from, like, to me, this sounds like they loaded this with audio clips from, like, a movie or something like that. That's literally what it sounds like to me. Like that, the little girl singing, like that's that's not, somebody is not doing that into the mic. All right, so if you made it to this point in the video, first of all, thank you very much. Second of all, I have to kind of put some pieces to the puzzle together here. I've made some notes in my phone after we watched the footage back. Now Dylan and I have gone through this and we're, and we might be grasping for thin air, but we're trying to make sense of not only the intents, but the things that are found, the things that we've seen and, and all of that. So. The first intent of this video that you just watched was strange surroundings. Now, I will say this, Dylan. <laughs> Getting on that back road, I mean, we did pass a sign that said, you know, uh, do not enter road closed or whatever. But we get down there and there's a police officer and he's blocking the road. Like he's sitting sideways in the road. So like if you come up around that corner pretty fast, he has the... Uh, has the risk of getting hit by a car or a truck, but again, you should know the road's closed because we went around the sign. So hold that thought in your head right there. The next intent that I had was hidden crime. And that's where we found the going to grandma's like lunchbox with shoes in it, which was really weird. To me, it didn't have anything to do with hidden crime unless obviously there was a kid that's missing or something along those lines. Dylan did a, a pretty proficient amount of research and, and couldn't really come up with anything. Okay, this next part is what trips me up more than anything. And it doesn't, doesn't haunt me, but it, it does. I, I'm, I can't really sit here and tell all of you watching this video that this doesn't really mess with my brain. Um, the next intent that we had in this video that you just watched, something unknown. Which brings us to a sporting goods place where there were tons of police officers now let me preface something here. If you have a security system at your house, like an alarm system at your house or your business, you know that sometimes, whether it's a faulty sensor or whether you know something fell off of the shelf and tripped the motion sensor, the alarm goes off. One, maybe two police officers respond, right? So, oh man, I just feel so bad, dude. Mmm. We didn't know it at the time, but there were a lot more things that happened at that sporting goods store, and we didn't know that. So technically, it's not our fault. 
but I, I put blame upon myself for not turning the voice recorder in because the, the next intent was something we should not see. So the two cars rounded the corner relatively quickly and something was thrown out. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that the recorder that we had found was thrown out the window. But what I did not know was that that recorder might have been part of the sporting goods store. So Dylan and I were curious the next morning and we went back to that sporting goods store uh, first off to get some new shoes because I love shoes. And um, as soon as we start walking up towards the door, we realize that there is glass busted out like a big column of glass. <clears throat> and we didn't think anything of it. And we're like, damn, it's just a, a break in. But then when you start peeling back the onion layers, you know that if you have an alarm system, and I have several businesses that alarm has been faulty before and one or two police officers show up, but to have eight, nine, 10 police officers show up and they're blocking the intersections and roads and stuff, and uh, you know they swarmed and conveyed in on that one area, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I think there was a lot more going on than what we realized, and we didn't realize that until now. We put three pieces to the puzzle together. The potential break-in, what if the voice recorder was recording that break-in and there was a girl who was in some form of trouble? Um, we looked up the story online to see if we could find anything and it was just a, a robbery type thing. So we was breaking in to rob the store. Um, I'm not saying that that was like audio of the break-in of the store. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying it could be. What I'm getting at here is this. I need your all's opinion. Comment below in a separate comment um, from the ones you've already posted. And let me know your opinion about that voice recording. Do you think that has anything to do with the break-in? Because to me, there was a lot of stuff that sounded like it was breaking or like, it almost sounded like a car crash. I, I don't know. Um, so many things were running through my head, but then all of like the, it sounded more like a digital voice and that next clip uh, on the on the thing, on the voice recorder. So I don't know, I'm very disturbed by it. I'm, I'm realistically hoping so I can sleep at night that that didn't have anything to do with that robbery break-in type deal. But um, yeah, this, this app is crazy. I know a lot of you all are also wondering when I'm gonna be dropping more haunted videos. And um, there's this random audio video that you just watched one more and then I got a couple of haunted videos and then more random nautica videos coming out. Um, to be honest with you, I, I really hated these random nautica videos at first. I really did. I didn't like them. Um, they're kind of growing on me because of the things that we are uncovering. I feel like it's just, um, it's a mystery. Every, every time you go to a new place, it's a mystery. Does something correlate with your intent? Does it not? If it doesn't, does does that thing that you found or this area that you're at, does it mean something bigger than the intent that you had? So um, I just wanted to tell everybody, thank you for watching these videos. Um, my energy is a little bit lower because, you know, it's it's like that weird feeling where your heart is like in your stomach, you know what I mean? Or you're like, your stomach's in your throat. It just, um, kind of a tough thing to deal with, not, not knowing and uh, sometimes it's best to be unknown. So um, with that being said, I just want to say uh, again, thank y'all so much. Love you, appreciate the support, and I'll see y'all in the next video.